Good morning everybody. It's an awful five o'clock in the morning. Monday morning. Usual story. Don't want to be here. Just doing my walk round checks, just checking all the lights and everything. It's all alright. Um, we ain't got the trailer on today. So that's that's not too bad. But we've got the trailer on the rest of the week because we're gonna be going off to Geneva tomorrow. Check my fuel tanks haven't been tampered with, everything looks fine. Yeah, it's freezing this morning, it's on zero at the moment. Anyway, hopefully it'll be like Friday, straight out to London and back again. Let's go and do it. We just come off the M25 under the A2 or Bexleaf sort of area at the moment. I haven't been in on, on this road at this time of day for years, so I don't know what the traffic's going to be like. I was better get nailed up towards the Blackwall Tunnel. Yeah, we came out that way Friday, if you remember. So we're going to go up through. Actually, this tunnel is a little, it's the old tunnel. I think the other one's the newer tunnel. It's a little bit bigger, although it looks old and narrow. This one's even worse. It's a four meter high tunnel, so we, we're only just able to go through that because we are four meters. But it's showing traffic on sat nav um, but anyway yeah I expect it's time in the morning getting into London well I spoke too soon didn't I Twitter. that two seconds after I um, said that we're all at a grinding hole so I don't know how long this is going to take now well this is our lot now we've been sitting in this lot now for 10 minutes this is the delay that I expected I was going to get. This is leading up to the Blackwall Tunnel. Uh, like I say, I haven't been this way for years this time of day, and you know, obviously traffic's built and built and built. I don't know these people do it every blooming day. They do my head in. I don't even see to the right there, you've got the Millennium Dome, which is now, well, it's not called the Millennium Dome anymore, it's called the O2, but originally, it uh, it was the Millennium Dome. If I can get forward to this van here, he's sort of blocked the view. And you've got Docklands again in the foreground there. It's quite an impressive sight, I suppose. If you like that sort of thing, lots of cranes and all that malarkey. We're just approaching the tunnel now. It's taken me 30 minutes to queuing for. Uh, to do a mile and a half, it's taken 30 minutes to get to here. Now, how these clowns do this every single day, I do not know. You know this, I'd have to move somewhere else. I'd never do this bloody lark every day. They've got, they've got to be, oh, they've got to be idiots, are not they? So that's taken me 30 minutes. You know, you know, I said we was going to be there just after half seven. We're now late. The ETA is now 8.05, and you can say that is now going to be up our state, I expect, in the end. got here in the end um, 15 minutes late he wasn't bothered um, that's the car we delivered to Islington on Friday uh, that, getting through that Blackwall tunnel was absolutely horrendous that took me over half an hour to queue out a mile and a half and also when I uh, the car was parked on the road and because of the type of car it is people begrudge people owning cars like that 
and it was the filthiest piece of gob you ever did see freshly gobbed down the passenger door the guy had to go and get some hot water and wash it off i suppose you've got to be thankful it's not a key or a coin dragged down the side of it uh vile people about and uh you know because they, they can't own something like that i don't think anybody else should i could i can't own anything like that. i never want to own anything like that because of reasons like vile scum like that oh well anyway i hope i've got enough time to get back around the clacket lane now and we can have our breakfast blackwall tunnels messed the job up again i was going to be over me six hour rule so i've had to stop on the a2 to lay by bloody job look at it all just noise 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 i don't know how blokes sleep here look because you've got a wall opposite and the noise just bounces off of that all the time yeah so we're gonna have half hour here and then we're going to get in a clack at lane and have our coffee. But that Blackwall Tunnel today is horrendous. It's even worse going northbound now when I've come through, obviously, southbound. Oh, something's gone over there. Oh, it's an ambulance car. Um, yeah, the northbound ain't even moving. It looks like the tunnel's shut, so them, them poor lot have got a bit of a wait. Um, I can see all the red lights now queuing up in my mirror, and that was... That, the end of that queue was about two miles away when I stopped here and now that has built to two miles. I was better be opposite the truck in a minute, look. Yeah, well, at least the sun's shining anyway. We're in Clackett Lane, time to grab a coffee. I was going to have to buy a coffee, but I've just seen a McDonald's cup on the top of the bin with a sticker on it. So now I can have a free one. Thank you, that person. That's better. I'll tell you what, I think you can always get a large coffee with those freebies. I think you've only got to ask, because I ask nearly every time, and I said to the young lady in there, I said, may I make that up to a large one, please? I've got to prepare to pay the 30p. Of course you can, sir. Well, she didn't say sir. She said, yeah, of course you can. You know, it's a bit, I think it's a bit patronising saying sir. But she said, yeah, of course you can. So she went and made that. And that really lightens your day when you think you're getting something a little bit more. Well, it's free anyway. But you're getting a little bit more for your freeness, if you know what I mean. And when she come back, she go to me, I said, thank you very much, and you have a very nice day. And I think they're quite shocked to get the public to tell them to have a nice day before they say it to you, or even if they don't say it to you. I think they're quite shocked. And she appreciated that thing. And I appreciate the coffee she gave me. That's that job done. We got our car off at Bogner. That's all safely back and ready to be cleaned. We gotta go back to the yard now, collect a trailer, and go around to the factory to pick two cars up. It's going back to our, our, our warehouse for storage. And it's nice and sunny, look. It's lovely, it's nice. Makes life a lot better when it's sunny. Right, should we go and do this? We better add. There ain't a lot going on here. Um, just got two storage done from the factory. They're off now. One for Russia, one for storage. That'll go on a foreign truck tomorrow. And hopefully I can very soon put my stuff in the car and go home. Right, we're not going home yet. I've got two more to go around the factory. So we whiz around there quick and get them? And then perhaps I can go home when we get back. <laughs> Right, that's two cars swiftly loaded, back to base.
I am not a happy chappy. I've just come to get the car and look. Got a blasted puncture. It's the first puncture I've ever had. And look, bloody screw in it. So now I've got a fanny about changing the bloody wheel to before I can go home. It's 25 to 5. That's great. I'm not going to be home early now. God, bloody hell. Well, I was going to show you my nice clean truck, but I will show you it quick. Even though I am really cheesed off with getting a blasted puncture. I'm home and people are taking the mickey out of me. <laughs> uh, you can tell who's giggling in the background. Abby's here, look. Hi. All right. <laughs> Andy's here as well. Yes, Abby's coming to visit because it's her birthday on Thursday. She's getting old, isn't you? I know, 17 plus 10. 17 plus 10, what's yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, bloody puncture. And that screw hasn't been going round and round and round. I've picked that up in the yard because you can tell it wasn't right in. It was right in, but it was, yeah. it was no shiny bit on it. I was ready to come home at our past bloody four and I had a mess about getting a trolley jack out and then it's bloody queuing up with the motorway. 20 minutes and then you Here get we go. and then they get the ambulance <laughs> and all the brains just fall out of their heads they're all up on the bloody verge how wide do they think this ambulance is i just stayed where i was it managed to get past me oh jesus anyway Abby, you all right yeah is it nice to be here yeah. you, you actually see my moaning live tonight you normally yeah. watch it on the vlog it's don't right. you? i know it's real it's it. She knows it's real. I, I don't put she it knows on. What you're like. I don't act. It's not an act. It's real. Yeah, you know, you've got to be real, have not you? She frightened me to death walking in as well. Did she? <laughs> yeah, so I, I came in the you first sound door. like her off of Corrie. I came in the first door and said hello, and she didn't hear me, and I thought, oh no, oh, now I've got to go in the next door and make a jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the kitchen, right. but... What was I going to say? I think I've said it, haven't I? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. I think that's going to be it because we're going to. I've got to socialise now because I don't see Abby very often. And um, let's say it's her birthday Thursday. 20 blue and 7. What's that all about? And how long have you had your driving licence now? 10 years? Yes. 10 years? Well, no. God, I mean, amazing, isn't it? What's it feel like driving around here? Does it feel funny coming in the street at the end of your working day? It kind of does. It's weird. It was weirder when I was a bit younger because. Well, this is where I'm from, but yeah. then I never learned to drive around here. No. So then I came back and drove around all the roads that. Yeah, but it's the familiar, it's familiar surroundings. It's weird going back somewhere that's a little bit familiar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's like when I've been away for two weeks. It's funny coming back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is. I've forgotten what to do. No, I haven't forgotten what to do. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going now. I'll have a quick shower, and then I've got a sort of blasty vlog thing out it's hard work right I'll you eat your dinner as well. i'm gonna eat my dinner and uh, how long are you staying up not too late but oh no i'll get trying to get rid of you i don't know, I don't know. have i got, got time i've got time to have a shower and i i don't think you'll be in there all night oh uh, no i'll only be in there 10 minutes um yeah so i'll see you tomorrow we're off to switzerland for thursday and geneva motor show and I think I might be going solo. Yes, yeah, leave that heap of scrap behind. This so, this is trailer. <laughs> so that's that. Right, I'm going now. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and all that old malarkey. And it's funny <laughs> seeing it from. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, seeing it being yeah. done, isn't it? Because I've never seen you vlog. No. You, you don't do it in front of me. I don't often do it in the week. No, but you, we come. We, yeah, but we don't go I in know. the. We only see you at weekends. She, I don't know why. she never vlogs around me. I, do get, I get shy in front of anyone else. Even yeah, but I'm your dad, for God's sake. Yeah, but I get shy, and so does Hannah. I watched her vlog the other night, and she says she don't like doing it in public. Yeah. Anyway. Look at you, don't they? Well, we're all weird, aren't we? Anyway, see you later. We're off to Geneva tomorrow, like I said. Bye.